how can you call a human being worthless? That girl is my friend just as you are. So you mean I'm of the same class with her? Look, Steph, this is... No, 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 tell me, Valerie. Are you saying that I'm of the same class with that cheap thing? What is this antagonism about? Why are you hating on her? Oh, Someone you just met once? Oh, please, Valerie. Would you stop pretending? Please. Pretending about what? That girl came from nowhere and was all over my boyfriend, you. Are you saying you didn't see that? <sighs> oh, I see. But darling, it was just a party. Valerie, this is no laughing matter. I know the different colors in a rainbow. You don't have to give yourself a headache over this. Your guy is your guy. Then I would prefer you tell your friend to respect my tough. Hmm? I am trying to build my walls around here and I don't need nobody. I mean nobody messing around it. Crime is harmless. I don't care. You can trust me on that. Whatever. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. How was your lectures? Fine. How are you? Um, mine was okay. It was fine, but not fine at all, though. Until you do me this favor. Favor? Yes. What favor? Um, I would like you to give me one of your friend's number. What friend? Ah. Uh, Prime. Prime. Yes. I'm oh, sorry, I can't do that. Why no? I would have to ask for her permission first before giving out her number. No, how about now? How about? That's not even necessary. It's not necessary. She was about giving me the number until someone just, just, just help me, please. I beg of you. Sorry, darling. I can't do that. Come on. Maybe if I explain this to you, you might, you might change your mind. You see, holidays around the corner and it wouldn't be a bad idea if I just take, get the number so I can keep in touch with her and become a good friend. Still sorry, darling. I'd have to take your permission first before I can give you her number. I can't just give you her number. It's, come, on, come on, it's not it's nice. How can I just give someone's number like that? It's you, you will help me, Abby. Go, go, go to your you house. ask for a favor, and I use this and break your head. <laughs> you see. Ugh. Hi. Hello. I've been looking all over for you. Where were you? Here. I have to quickly send this email to my lecturers waiting for me at the moment. Mm. I was supposed to do this last night, but I couldn't because of the party. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the party. What do you think about the charity case Valerie invited? Who? Same girl I saw you talking to at the party. When I came to call you for Josh. Gosh, that girl is so below our level. I don't even know why Valerie hangs around that girl. It's, it's beyond me. Oh, did you even see what she was wearing to the party? Did you see how stupid and timid she was looking? She just stenched the whole place with the smell. Gosh, what's wrong with you? What? Stephanie, don't you have anything else to do than rift people? Don't you just rift everybody? What do you mean rift what people? What do I mean what? Shut up. Come on, what is wrong with you? Come on, Stephanie, if there are other things to do, utilize your time and do something. What? What? What is this? Oh! Oh! Are you serious, Mom? Ah, I'm a Satanist fans! Oh my god! Thank you, Mom! Thank you so much, Mom. I bet you have your dad to thank for it. No, but I know you're the facilitator. That he is the executor, son. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I love this cycle. You like it? Ah, uh, it's beautiful. Sure? <laughs> Mom, where is my own car gift? Um, 
when you get to your final year in the university. You will surely get your own car gift. <laughs> Son, enjoy your ride. <laughs> don't touch it, don't touch my car. Go and cook for it. Go and cook for this car. Oh, sorry, for me. <laughs> See this. Come inside, come inside, come inside. Join me. <laughs> Mothers. Yeah, nothing. And nothing. this is a Mercedes. Yes. This is really fine. Yeah. Babes, this is awesome. I swear to God. Really? Yeah. Fine. Your mom is the best mom in the world. <laughs> I swear. The girls go home. No, 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 no. Babe, hop in. Put on your seatbelt. No, no, no. Don't, don't drive it. We just want to try it. the baby. Oh, okay. oh. Yes. come on, come on, Duke. Please, I just want. Nope. Okay, kiss. Mm, right, right. Nope. Please, please, please. Hop in. Hop in. Oh. Okay. Woo! Yeah! There's something I'd like to discuss with you. What is it? Mother, I've been thinking we need enough money to be able to offset our bills, buy you drugs for you to get better, and I also need to go back to school. The house rent will be due in two months, and we don't have money to take care of all this. So I need to start up something. A means of making a little money to help the family. What is your plan? How do you intend to combine all that with your part-time schooling? I'll work it out, mother. Anything at all. Even if it's a part-time housemaid job for the main time. <laughs> just, just something that could push us a bit financially. Yes, who's there? Hold on. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Um, you didn't tell me you were coming. Is something wrong? Well, do I have to discuss it standing here? Please don't mind my manners. Thank you. Um, please excuse me. Let me get you some. So, how did you know Prime? Aha! That's why you're here. <laughs> well, well, tell me, how did you get to know her? Oh, well, Prime is more like a sister to me. She's been there for me so many times. We're really good friends. I'm, I'm sort of drawn to her somehow, though. You're drawn to her? Yes. <laughs> well, Prime is humble and nice. That's her beauty. Well, trust me, there are really so many beautiful things about her that I foresee. I, I just want to be her friend, a close friend, I mean, a, a platonic, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, Prime is the withdrawn type. She likes her privacy, but I really don't have inkling on how you can get on her good books. Well, without that, 
try my best. Good. So, um, how have you been? Good, good. That I've not seen you since my birthday party. I promise coming, but you didn't show up. I'm sorry, I know. I really am. It's just that my elder sister I will be coming back from the States sometime this month. So my mom and I went to the market to get stuff in preparation for our arrival. <laughs> she and I were almost same size in everything. So I had to do this now, if not, my exams won't let me. Well, no problems. We can always talk on phone now. Yeah. That reminds me. Do you remember my friend Duke? Duke? Yes, Duke, the guy at the party, the one we were sitting with that night. Oh, I remember. What about him? Nothing. It was just that he said he could not get your number the other night and he asked me for it. But I told him I was not going to give it to him without asking you. You know I wouldn't have liked. Of course I do. That's why I didn't give it to him. So how is your mom's health? Uh, she's fully recuperated now. Thank God. I got to her. Talk to you later then. Madam, I don't come. Eh, I can't let you go. Yes, who I be that? I the one. Please don't see my friend Valerie. Who oh, I be a plain Valerie? My plan is to walk from what here and now now I go see what I go do you. Please, uh, I just want to see my friend. I mean no harm. Madam! Madam! Yes, madam, I I the one. Big lips. Of course, don't you have big lips? Anyway, isn't that why you're tripping? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's say, you know what? I'm thinking of organizing a dedication party for my new car. Really? Oh, you rather. Well, that's nice. I know that I'm going to be the talk of the school after the party. <laughs> no, no, no. No, not at all. It's just going to be um, a simple party where just we and our friends will just be just uh, like a come chop party. What? Honey, we don't do anything simple, okay? Owning a car is huge. And owning a car of that standard is very huge. So the size of car determines the size of party to host, don't you think? Hmm? Just leave it all to me. I'll take care of everything. I'll do all the planning, all the packaging. I'm sure we're going to have a blast. Since we won't be having auctions like Valerie's need. Hmm. Let's go. What do you mean go? Let's we haven't here. even talked about let, what I'm going to be wearing water. at the party. Sweetheart, since it's going to be a wonderful, huge party, do you think I should wear something super hot, super mean, super sexy, sophisticated? <laughs> since I will be the center of attention at the party so that I can wow everybody. Hmm, honey? And uh, let's not forget. We will get bouncers so that no one crashes our party. Shut up. God, you're so unbelievable. Stephanie, you are unbelievable. How? You're so fucking tankerous, impavious, and, and thick headed. What, what is this? It's all about you, you, you. Must it be about you alone? Should it be about someone? Shut up! Excuse me. Such a greedy person. Think about other people. What did I 
I do now? Compromise your 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 your, your take the greedy take. Eat it alone. What life is all about. Duke, what has come over you? Whatever. You just you just stop it. You just you don't you just don't understand. Duke. I'm Valerie. Okay. I'm here to see how Duke is presently. I think only that car has, um, has like the best thing that has ever had. I thought you used to happen to him. Well, I still happen to him. Or oh, I used to think so. But what I'm saying is that he's easily distracted these days. How do you mean? Never mind. But can you do me a favor, please? What is it? Can you not invite that your friend over to do this party? Okay. Okay. What friend? Well, I don't know her name. But the ugly one. The one with the shabby dress. No. The one with the outrageous dress. Who came to your party the other time on campus. Okay, please. What about her? There is nothing about her, Valerie. Well, could you do me that as a favor from a friend to a friend? Oh, sweetheart, you know why I like this machine? Her name is Pride. It makes you work out so well and keeps you in shape and you're Her name is Pride. Oh my god. It's so Step. Well and I'm so in shape and now. Uh, Her name is Pride. Here you are. <laughs> Hi, look who we've got here. Hello, honey. Hi, Hi baby. Good. How are you? Fine. How are you? I'm fine. I'm all right. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you reading? I'm just reading this inspirational book. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, guess what? Well, I got you a present. What could that be? Close your eyes and promise you won't open them until I say so. Why? I'm reading this inspirational book. Then you don't want the present then. Okay. Close them. Don't open them. What about now? Can I open it now? No, don't open it yet. Uh-uh. Okay. We can open it now. Ta-da. How are you the sun? My team, I'm on and goes the other tray. It's so beautiful. You like it? Ah! One of the most coveted book ever. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I like it so much. Have a yellow sun. Come here. <laughs> I love this book. I know. <laughs> Bring your feet. Bring your feet. Just put it here. Let me massage you. Oh my god. Okay. Come here. Are you going to make it up to me? I do something every time. Oh my god. You. <laughs> no way, babe. Can you come down? Stop. You make me hungry already. Since you don't want to give me Prime's number, maybe you should uh, bring her over to my new card education. I'm sorry. I don't want to have troubles with Stephanie over Prime. 
It's all right, Cubs. I am not surprised. Mm -hmm. After all, the military are there to take lives that the doctors are trying to so save. That on the contrary, you are wrong. Mm. We take the lives of the bad people to save that of the good people. Mm. Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Skinny. What have they been feeding you with? More. Um, I was expecting this from you. If this is skinny, <laughs> then skinny is good. <laughs> yeah. well, let's go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> it's nothing to worry about, son. It's only natural for a girl to be jealous of her man. But, but Dad, she's overreacted about everything. Because there's nothing going on between the prime girl and I. And have you told her about that? I have spoken to her about it, but she wouldn't just believe me. <laughs> so, okay. give us some time. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I've missed your troubles. Mm, you've missed my trouble, right? <laughs> You forgot how I used to stick out my neck protecting you way back in secondary school. <sighs> it's my job, you remember. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. Yes, you're back again like <laughs> P-square. B. Those Nigerian musicians, Peter and Paul, Peter and Paul. They play the music back in the UK? Come on, Dad. Don't be so old school. Nigerian musicians have gone international long ago mm -hmm. i even had the savings oh that's nice to hear but it's no longer news that nigerian musicians have gone international they have yeah. a lot to offer the international world yeah. you're right honey the nigerians over there are crazy about anything nigerian mm. even the movies we try to get them and watch sometimes out of the saga what you mean without the nigerian films you watch over there you wouldn't have remembered us right oh. I'm so sorry. That's not what I meant. All right, okay. Let's we all get carried away. Um, let us go to God in prayer, thanking Him for keeping all of us to witness this beautiful day. Um, Rachel went to the UK for studies, and she's back, and not only successfully but came up with an impressive result. Mm. Valerie, baby. Dad. Business. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Are you really serious? I mean it. I would like you to bring Prime to my card education party. So you're basically asking me not to That's it. Honestly, that's it. That, I mean, if you do otherwise. <laughs> Babe. I want to invite you for an event next week, Saturday, and I'd like you to come with me. What 
out of it. Jigs that keeps in the spa. Of course, you know I can't come to this kind of education. Come on now. Don't be like this. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. I'm with me, please. Hello, who is this I see? <laughs> Looking nice. Thanks. Well, I would like you to accompany me to a boutique. You know, I need to go get Prime something that actually defines her. Well, yes, yeah, something, something nice, something beautiful, something really cool. Not forgetting something sexy. I <laughs> feel like getting it for her. <laughs> What? <laughs> so, Mr. Romantic. Are you falling in love with my friend? I'm not falling in love with your friend. I'm not, I'm, I'm not in love with her. I just like her. You just like her? I just like her. Just, just like? Just like her. Please remove your glasses. Let <laughs> me see your eyes. Come on. <laughs> leave me. Leave me. All right, let me just... just Please just get inside and change right. into something. Something nice, oh. Something nice. <laughs> oh, my father, military officer. Sometimes he acts like we're his, uh, you know, officers. Hey, my friend. I will, uh, what? Are you okay? Are you okay? Hey, mom. You okay? I'll take care. Why are you like that? How do you mean? Of course. You you acting like a woman who is sitting next to a forced husband. I don't know what you mean by that. Well, it's okay. Maybe I'm just boring you with my stories. We should go out, right? If you want to. Oh, come on. Why are you sounding monosyllabic? Why, Stephanie? Come on, I know it when something is bogging your mind. There is nothing wrong with me, Duke. There's, there's nothing? And you want me to, to believe that? They are very beautiful. And very expensive. So what are his intentions? I have no idea, mother. I've not even seen him since Valerie's birthday. Hmm. Just be very careful. When you receive gifts from people, you are technically indebted to them. It's not gift directly, mother. He wants me to wear it to his car dedication. What is Valerie's position on this? She thinks it's not a bad idea. Okay. Just be very careful. All right, mother. God, we thank you for this gathering today. And for our brother who is dedicating his car, you shall strengthen him. He shall not have any reason to have accident with this car. You shall use him as a point of contact those who need blessing of such through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I must seize this opportunity to thank all of you who are here present today to felicitate with me over the arrival of my new car right there. And also, I would want to seize this opportunity again to appreciate the presence of my pastor, Pastor Ken, regardless of his schedule. That's the cat. And uh, I will not forget the presence of my profound father, Chief Mrs. Raymond, who is regularly dressed and adorned here. Thank you, Mom. 
Thank you. Um, I would apologize for the absence of my father, Chief. Retired General Raymond, who for some reason or two is absent tonight. But all the same, I appreciate that you are all here. how people pretend to be your friends but what they actually do is bugging prizes on your head or stab you at the back uh, you don't understand you don't understand how will you understand you know I feel stupid now giving you benefit of doubt all this while what's the problem against Steph? who is the kid here Valerie you or I Tell me, you think I don't know your game? Or you think I wouldn't find out? Hmm? Well, until you tell me, but honestly, I still don't know what you're talking about. You are trying to hook Prime up with my man, which is the sole reason why you invited her to your party in the first place. Oh, come on, sweetie. All that is just a figment of your imagination. Stop worrying your head too much over nothing. My imagination, indeed. You know, it is amazing how you can look this prim and proper, yet the devil in you can kill. You think I'm stupid? Or you think I'm dumb? Stephanie, what do you want me to do? Nothing. I don't want you to do anything. But I just wanted to warn you, to tell your friend, <laughs> to stay off my way. Just that. Wait a minute. Let's even assume there's something going on between the two. Don't you think you should ask your boyfriend, Duke, what he wants? Who he really wants to be with? That friend of yours is wretched. That friend of yours is poor. Yes. The friend of mine seems to be a big issue for you. Now you're coming out. I like that. <laughs> Valerie, out with it. Spit out your evil. Spit out your rubbish. But let me tell you something. We've been friends for some time now, so I don't really want to have any problems with you. Okay? That is why I'll beg you in the name of God. Don't mess with me. Because when I bite, I bite real good. You know what, Steph? If you think you're having issues with Duke, why don't you go sort it out with him and leave Prime out of it? That girl is innocent. I've told you that before, and I am going to say it again. Prime is innocent. You know what? I don't owe you an apology for having Prime as a friend. And if you think you're tired of being friends with me, fine. It's okay by me. So be it. But you can't keep intimidating people around you because of your so-called boyfriend. Like you're the first to have one. <sighs> that girl is so fake. Did you see it? I just hit her. She repulses me. Hey. Kai Jesus. Kai. <laughs> 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 
Okay, everyone knows we're going out. Why are you doing this? Huh? You know what? It is better you choose between Prime and I. It's just good for everyone. But why am I even saying choose? How can I belittle myself to say choose? Why are you doing this to me? Come on, baby. I'll choose you. Over a million girls. Who could have this beauty and then go for another woman? You're the best thing that ever happened to me. You're the best. You're the sweetest. Are you sure about this? So, so sure. A thousand percent. Come here. <laughs> Let me sing a little of what we're saying, singing here. No. Big. You want to hear it? One beautiful okay. ending. My baby Tunga. Baby Tunga. <laughs> <Baby Tungahaya. laughs> <Tungahaya. laughs> it's Big Daddy's song. Are you serious? Beautiful. <laughs> Valerie. What's wrong? She accused me of matchmaking Duke and Prime. Are you? Of course not! If anything, I'm just trying to make sure Duke does not hurt her. For now, they are just friends. Be careful. I wouldn't want you putting yourself in a fix. Let alone get into fight with Stephanie. Please. Cheer up now. It's okay. I hope you did not find it difficult to look at in this mess. Ah, no, 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 no. Not at all. Uh, I used to have a friend who was in the street. You're welcome. Please to manage it. No, no. No, mom. I had before coming here. I, I did. I'm not scared that it won't be Oh, certainly not. Um, Prime told me a good cook, and uh, she also told me that she doesn't think she would find any food as tasteful as this outside. That is the more reason you need to have a taste of my food. <laughs> okay. If you insist. Get a glass. Oh. Ah, uh, do you join me, Ma? Prime? I'm waiting my info again. Thank you. I equally add mine. Hmm. Tastes good. <laughs> so nice. Hmm. You live with your parents? Yes, I, I live with my parents. What are they into? Um, my dad is a retired major general in the army and uh, my mom is a regular businesswoman. Prime's father...
But in case I do off. Please say me well to your parents. Okay, well, thank you very okay. much. Okay, thank you. Let's do. Okay, I'll wait for him. Babes, let me wait for him. I need to tell him something. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> um, is something wrong? Not really. No, you look bored. Duke. Yes. What do you really want from Prime? But I thought we've discussed that already. Yes, I just want you to make up your mind on what you really want. You can't be dating Steph and still lead Prime on. Come on. I'm totally in love with Stephanie. Totally. But there's just this unique thing about Prime that I really admire. Uh, she is a... Never mind, forget about it. Uh, I just care about her, that's all. Fine. Then try and convince Steph before this whole thing gets out of hand. Please. Look, I'm hungry. I need to get something to eat. Please, let's go. All right, later now. My legs are even hurting. Valerie, come here. Stephanie, are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you. What's the meaning of all this? Listen, little girl. I just wanted to let you know that I'm aware of your games. My best. You won't regret employing me by God's grace. Thank you so much. Call Abigail for me. So, yeah. what does Duke really want from you? Why did you ask? The way he's all over you. It's something to be worried about. At least he hasn't said anything. That's my worry. He's not saying anything. He doesn't want anyone to know what he's up to. I don't think it's wise to start for him to him. So what did your mom say when he came to the house? What I like to him. She said he's a gentleman. He also looks like a good person. He's obviously a good person. But my dear, Stephanie did not look at it from that perspective. And like I said earlier, he hasn't said anything. I've gotten a job in an eatery. You what? I started work already. Come <laughs> on, fine. How could you do that? See, I know it's difficult for you to pay your school fees and get money for your upkeeps, but you didn't have to get a job in an e tree. Look, I'll talk to my mom. I'll see if she could raise you some money to start up something small. No! I've made up my mind, Valerie. Besides, how long will I continue to tie myself to your apron? You and your family have done more than enough for me already. 
Thank you. You're a good person. And your sister. You're the reason why my boyfriend Duke has refused to have any more time for me. But by the time I'm finished with you, you will regret and wish you were never born. <laughs> Steph, Steph, Steph. Why bother yourself with me this second? I'm sorry. Pardon me. I shouldn't be bantering words with a servant. But this servant girl is meant to be put in her place. Because this servant girl is meant to understand that I am not her equal. And even hundreds of you cannot serve me in my father's house. And, uh, let me tell you something. Okay. If you do not stay clear of my boyfriend, I will make life very, very impossible. I will make it very impossible for me to work here. Because my father is a major shareholder in this company. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Have you heard her? She will make it like miserable for you. <laughs> Let you me. know what? I'm, I'm okay. I just want to leave. You don't have to No, no, I'm, I'm cool. So just I'm... piss me off. Sleep well at all. Dad, I I had a nightmare. A nightmare? It's about my friend Prime. Yes, what about him? It's her. Um in the dream that I I knocked her down with my car and she died instantly. God forbid. And did you pray over it when it happened? Oh well, you're not a man about prayers. Well, next time when you have such dream, okay, you pray over it, okay? Wait a minute, that reminds me. You were at the cinema last night, weren't you? Okay. That probably would explain it. Your mind probably was playing tricks on you based on the movie you saw last night. Okay. Well. No. Just do it, thank you. What is this? Mama, Mama, what is happening here? Can I, can I help? No, don't worry. No, Mama, please. Let me just help. My, my car is convenient. Let me help. Yeah. Brian, what is wrong with you? Please, she can walk. She can't. Please, please. Sorry, Brian. Sorry, Brian. Brian, what is wrong with you? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Mama. 
Please, where is it, Doctor? Uh, uh, I, I am the mother. Please, can you come with us to the doctor's office? Oh, <laughs> Madam, don't worry. Madam, calm down, please. She can make it if a transplant is carried out immediately. Doctor. Don't worry. She will be okay. The surgery is usually mostly successful. 95%. Okay? Brian's kidney failure is at its critical stage. And finally, she'll be needing a kidney transplant. Oh my god. Oh no, no, no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. Where will I find two million naira? It's, it's, it's prime. She's having a crisis. What? She'll be needing a kidney transplant. What? Honestly. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll call you back. Let me call you back. Please. Sir, please continue. We're listening. So you mean you haven't heard what happened to Brian, yeah? Oh, for you. <laughs> I heard about it. You two like gossip. Because I heard about it. That she's very, very sick. Oh, oh my God. God. I feel for her, sir. Which can I feel for her? Oh, my God, my God, my God. You should die there, okay? Stop that. That would be a nice thing to say about someone. Who could stop it? When did you start caring about being nice? And who are you to tell me about being nice? Are you nicer than me? Eh? Yes, sir. Tell me. You know what? Just get out. Who will ask you to talk when I'm talking? I'm not competing with you. I'm just telling you the truth. You know what? Just get out. Before you infect everyone with a poverty stricken mentality. Girl, it's better I leave this place than sit here and listen to you people wishing somebody dead. You're just. What is the poor girl going to get out? What? Fool! Get it up, you call. Get it, get it, get it. Look at you. That girl is a loser. I swear. You are sitting out of here again. I'm a girl with you, bitch. Hello, mommy. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello, mommy. Um, I just said, let me come and see you. Thank you very much, my son, for your concern. Okay. Okay. Well, how are we going? See Thank you. you. Uh, you're back. Uh, that would be enough for our surgery. <laughs> Zero tolerance was seen as insubordination. What is it? Um, Dad, Mom, I, I'm here to beg for your forgiveness. Forgiveness? Forgiveness for what? What did you do? I, I, I took some of your money without, without your permission and, and knowledge. You did?
How much money was it you stole from me? Just two million naira. You call two million naira just? And you listen to me, boy. If you weren't my son, I would have planted a bullet in your head. Anyhow, your mother will pay for it. Because I didn't raise you up to be a thief. And stealing does not flow in my family blood. I'm sure you got that trait from your mother's side. Excuse me? So she definitely will pay for it. Well, um, which of your friends are you talking about? Because I know Stephanie's father to be very well off. No, that it's not Stephanie, certainly. Her name is Price, and her father was in the Nigerian army, he was a corporal, too. Her mother. Duke, you now have more than one female friend? No, why? No, I don't. This is just a fact. Will you listen to me? What you just exuded was a great strength of character. Should you have need for anything, I mean anything, then you go to your mother and you come to me. You don't try anything stupid like this again. Am I clear on that? Am I clear on that? Yes. That's that. I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. But I have to return this money. Return which money? What's it? This is so much money that your son has brought. And I know he does not have this kind of money. Duke! Duke! Daddy! Um, madam, please, can you repeat exactly what you said now? This is the money your son has brought to me. And I know he does not own this kind of money. That is why I'm returning it. You can keep the money. Sir? Keep the money. You don't have it for us, so you can This is a five hundred thousand now. Add it to the one he already gave you. And um, should you have need for more money, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thank you, sir. To be honest with you, your daughter's condition is not one that should be taken with levity. Doctor, how do you mean? You see, having carried out the first stage examination, we found out that the donor's blood does not match with hers. 
So we need a donor whose blood type matches with your daughter's. And we have to do that as soon as possible. If her survival is important to us, and I'm pretty sure it is. Oh my God. How bad can things get? Madam. Madam, oh. please pull yourself together. Uh, I'm sorry to say this, madam, but none of their blood match with your daughters. Doctor, what is happening? You mean there is nobody that can donate blood to sustain my daughter? Oh. Pajo, why did you do this to us? If you are alive, Perhaps your blood will have fitted into your daughters. Just take it as a matter. At least if you will excuse me, I have one good extra attention. You will not do anything that stupid. Oh, my mom, she needs a kidney. And I'm the match. Why don't you just shut up? What have they given you? Duke. You don't seem to get it. Come here. See. First she stole my money for her treatment. I let go. Basically because you've not done that before. And now you're clamoring to give her your kidney. Hey. I don't know whoever it is that is depositing these stupid ideas into your head. But whoever it is. Go tell that person that I, your father, said no. Basically, no. Capital letter, no. That you are not going to donate your kidney to anybody. And that is final. One, you do not know what it takes. Two, you don't even know if you're going to survive or what. Lord, daddy, the doctor said I can't. I don't care what the doctor said. I said. You are not going to donate your kidney to anybody, and that is final. Daddy, please. This discussion is over. That I beg you. I said this discussion is over. I don't know who it is that is getting me into this. Good afternoon, Mom. Mom, how are you? I'm okay, I'm good. And how is Cynthia? Oh, Cynthia is all right. She went out to see her friend. Uh, okay. Mom, um, there's something I, I would like to discuss with you. Yeah, what is it? It's about Duke. Duke? What about Duke? Duke has changed. He, he doesn't even pick my calls anymore. And he doesn't call me back. Not ping me like we used to. It's okay, my dear. Huh? Duke is okay. It's just that but there's something troubling him of late. I'll talk to him. Okay. Mom, I just wish he can open up more to me. I will talk to him. Meanwhile, let me tell him that you're here to see him. Duke. Duke. Why not open up to me? What 
is eating you up. Stephanie is here to see you. I'm not in the mood to see anybody. Duke, you are hurting that girl. She's come this far to see you. At least give her audience. Mom, why don't you people just leave me alone? I need to be left alone. <laughs> Tell Steph I'll come see her later. Please. So, I, I don't think you should So, I want to see if I can get the bush bar and create that environment. Yes, I'm thinking we should uh, extend this fence. I'm going to slit my throat. I'm going to slit my throat right now if you do not allow me assist Prime. Stay away. Stay away from me. Has this boy gone bonkers? I'm not going anything. I'm not going anything. Son, please. You have to be alive to give her your kidney. I don't care. I don't care. Put down the next I know. want to slit my throat right now. Look at me. I'm going to do it right now. Tell him. Let him allow me assist Prime. Okay, fine. You will give her your kidney. But please put down the knife. Okay, please. don't tell him. Don't tell him. Let him say it then. Say it. Oh, don't come no, close no, no, to no. me. I'm not, I'm not coming close to you. Since that's what you want to do, go ahead and do what you want to do. You taught me how to assist people, the indigent people, and now you want to stop me from assisting someone that is in their need of a, of a kidney? Since you made up your mind to give her the old kidney, go ahead. Thank you. You see, I taught you Thank to you, do this. Ah! I taught you to this. Stop. 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 Good. Why, Duke? Why? Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? What have I done? <laughs> hey Steph, it's Valerie. Valerie, go away, I don't want to see you. <sighs> you slimy bitch. What are you doing here? Can you just calm down and let me explain? Explain what? That you're not the conspirator in this whole thing? Or if you hadn't invited that girl to your party? How else this wouldn't have happened? How was I supposed to know Duke would talk with her? Then why did you invite her to Duke's car dedication? Even when I asked you not Because he insisted I did. Really? Okay. Did you have to desperately encourage her to always make herself available for my Duke? And girl B, when she uses her whims and caprices to lure other people's men to herself. I don't know what you're talking about. But as we speak right now, that innocent girl needs all her prayers to survive. Not someone sitting away and neglecting us to a grave already. Hmm. Let me tell you something you don't know. I don't give a damn. She can go to hell for all I care. A newsflash. Duke is mine. Nobody can take him away from me. Do you understand? And to say the least, she used her spell to deceive my duke and now he wants to donate his kidney? Valerie, what haven't you done? And you were supposed to be my friend! You know what? Just get out. I don't want to see you anymore. And I, I hate you! Steph, are you throwing me out of your house? This man, how can you even think that girl is a competition? Competition? Valerie, she is not a competition. But I hate to mingle with poor people who try to steal what belongs to me. Okay? Get out. This minute. Death. I hate you! Do you hear me? I don't want to see you again! Just get out! I get out! 
serious? Stupid. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm a very big fool for making Valerie my friend in the first place. Jesus Christ. Ah, what is it? How is it? The operation is successful. Yes! He told you. I went for my son. Congratulations. 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 Generous sir, we are here to thank you for the love and support shown to my family by you and your family during my daughter's illness. May the good Lord continue to bless you. Amen. Simano. Nothing compared to what you have just had. I mean, who would have believed that she was? Am I? She was written off by her children. But here she is today, held on the head. Aha, here comes the hero. Ah, the hero. Bless you, my son. Welcome. Well, I'm glad we all made it. Um, so congratulations to all of us. <laughs> What's up? How can I ever repay you for the moment, What are we celebrating this time? How would you know? When you're busy gallivanting around, like like the village uh, everywhere. Uh, do, 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 do. No, Daniel, I'm serious. Baby, just go in there, get a tray of glasses with a bottle of wine from the bar. Pass it on. Ooh. Hi. You good? Well, I'm going to say something and then you will sip afterwards. So now, let's cheers for love. Take a sip. It's nice. Sip well, good. Nice wine. Then, <laughs> cheers for peace. Okay. And then, let's have a cheers for long life. And finally, go back. But what, what about Prime? Prime and I never had anything. I took Prime like a sister to me. And I did what I did because she opened up to me about her ill health. And uh, that's just it. Oh my God. So you mean, you mean you did everything for humanity's sake? Yes, oh my God. Then I'll marry you. I'll marry you! Oh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Now this is for you. <laughs> oh my God, this is so Congratulations, Oh, Marie, look here. 
Did you see my ring? I know already. You guys! Sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I cost you, I swear. If I was in your shoes, I would do the same thing. I'm sorry for whatever I must have cost you. You didn't do nothing. You were innocent. I was the Jezebel. Please forgive me. Please forgive me.